Radio Solent with Louisa Hannah. Thursday the 10th of May then, it's Louisa Hannan in for Julian. He's off this week, back with you on Monday. However, all the usual features, including our Julian's people. And uh, we're catching up with two more now. Uh, their bit to, uh, doing their bit to reward the outstanding men and women from across the South. This is quite extraordinary. Adam Terpenning runs Room to Reward, which gives a break to volunteers and frontline charity staff. And uh, Adam's in the studio, along with Joe Langtree, who is also from... Room to reward. It's lovely to uh, meet you both because it's my first time meeting you. I know you both appeared on the programme about six months ago. Uh, for people who weren't listening then, just remind us, what is Room to Reward? OK, good morning, Louisa. Um, what we do is that we um, ask hotel hoteliers to treat an unsold room as a wasted asset. And ordinarily they know when they're going to have an empty room. So what we ask them to do is to treat this room as, an, as a wasted asset and to donate it to someone who truly deserves a break. Okay. So that's on one side of the coin. And on the other side, what we do is we ask registered charities to nominate and recognise their most outstanding volunteers and give them a short break as a way of saying thank you for what they're doing in a very tangible way. What a and, fabulous we, idea. and we put the two together. And so hoteliers absolutely, you know, they obviously realise the importance of the charity sector and they're using this unsold room to good use. We'll talk more about the, the charities with Joe in just a yeah. moment, but but tell me more about how this whole idea came about. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it started about three years ago and it was an initiative. I wish I could take the, uh, the, <laughs> the credit the, for it. Absolutely. Uh, but I've set it up. But it was actually started and founded by a gentleman called Nicholas Roach, uh-huh. who's the chairman of Harbour Hotels. So he came up with this incredible concept and then asked me to set it up. And um, three years later, we are gaining momentum. We've, we've now got... Um, 150 hotels in the scheme Brilliant. throughout the UK and we've donated in excess of £100,000 worth of hotel stays to these wonderful volunteers. I didn't realise before I joined the charity sector there's some incredible people doing wonderful things. They don't expect anything but to suddenly be told you know you are very special, you are doing something outstanding for a particular charity and to give them a short break is really fantastic and um, um, it's been so well received by us, by the hoteliers, because they're using this unsold room, but also the charity sector as well. I suppose as, as it builds momentum, you must get charities approaching you now, which is a great situation to be in. Spot on, Louisa. Absolutely. Um, to begin with, we were obviously contacting the register charities, but now charities are hearing about us. Right. They want to integrate our scheme as part of their recognition scheme within, within their charity, and the two work together. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and Joe, when it comes to choosing those worthy recip- re- recipients, that must be a really hard job. And and as, as as we were saying there, as Adam was saying, it must be difficult as well to persuade those people to actually take a break because so often they don't actually feel that they're doing that much of an amazing job. Yeah, absolutely. Um, one of the sort of biggest challenges we face is is convincing people that, you know, this isn't uh, too good to be true. There's yeah, no yeah. hidden catches or costs or anything. Um, and yeah, in terms of the, the volunteers themselves, they're nominated to us by the charity. So we leave it to our charity partners to decide. Um, who they want to put forward because you know, they know best who's having the biggest impact and it means uh, from our point of view we get a really nice varied range so we get people who are whether they're doing amazing things in fundraising or maybe they're caregivers or maybe they are helping out in the office you know doing behind the scenes work that actually their contribution enables the charity to then focus their efforts on their beneficiaries and in other areas so we're really lucky really to um, every day you know we hear uh, a lot of stories of amazing people that are out there doing doing mm. extraordinary things and then yeah we often find it it comes as a shock because like you say they sort of think oh I don't do anything that's that yeah exactly is that important exactly. but when you see it written down from the charity's perspective or from the beneficiary's perspective you actually realize you know, they really are um, making a difference and that's our key thing isn't it is um is making a difference really Absolutely. tell me about some of the, the charities you work with okay so well interestingly we were listening uh, to the show on our way in this morning and all the Good. stories about horse riding <laughs> horse riding and everything we recently at the start of march had our 200th uh, nomination which came from a charity called the horse course in and they're based in weymouth right um they're an amazing uh, innovative mental health charity that use um, equine intervention to work with predominantly children but adults as well that are experiencing mental health difficulties and um, through 
training with the horses and stuff they they help teach things like um uh, calming techniques and assertiveness rebuild confidence and help them then go on to sort of integrate back into society so they're just um they're one of of several of now getting on for 130 charity partners that we have but um Goodness. yeah so we went down there um at the start of last month um to meet them and we made a little video and stuff about about what they do and their nomination was a, a woman called um joe tucker who works with the directly with these uh young people and the difference that, that they've made um in lives of, of people you know that really need it is is quite amazing so yeah. there's yeah they're one we have a really nice spread of uh, major national charities so um we're partners with uh scope um whiz kids national autistic society uh mencap and a few others and then a lot of uh local charities as well um which is really nice for us because it's we often find with the the local charities it's those that are really filling gaps and, and doing yeah, exactly. absolutely essential work so yeah. ones like um hope for food in bournemouth um uh, Macmillan caring locally um yeah you know, there's there's Dorset loads Mind. around Dorset Minds yeah exactly goodness Things some like brilliant that. brilliant charities so what's next then Adam when we catch up with you again what do you want to have achieved the next well, time we speak um well we actually well our target is to donate 250,000 pounds worth of hotel stays by the end of this year my goodness that's um, a big ask isn't it and then we want to do it annually this is a this is growing we want to become a charity which is recognised by the industry, by the hospitality industry. We want more hoteliers to get behind the scheme. We're currently at 155 hotels. We want to get to 200 because the more hotels, the more mm. we can donate stays. That's and that's brilliant. what it's about. Brilliant idea. Um, so it is growing all the time. Um, and, you know, it's, um, you know, we will take it as far as we can. Yeah. If people want to find out more then, if maybe they're hearing about this for the first time, how can they do that? Thank you very much. Um, so if you'd like to go onto our website, www.roomtoreward.org, all the information about the uh, about the charities on there. Um, if you are a, a registered charity listening, please get in touch with us. If you're a hotelier, please make touch. All we right. want to hear from you. We will catch up with you again, no doubt, Louisa, in the next few months. You. Lovely to meet you both. Thank you very much indeed, Adam uh, and Joe. BBC Joe from- Radio Solent.